RHD helps people create art. Real art. RHD is a day program that provides clients with varied outfits for creative expression. Devised as an alternative to the vocational model, it furnishes an expansive environment for a huge spectrum of people with a huge spectrum of needs. RHD has consistently helped the disabled in a society that tends to ignore them entirely. Ugh. RHD claims a small recording studio, a video editing suite, a ceramic studio, a digital photography facility, a wood shop, a general use studio for all types of visual arts and textiles, and a screen printing system. In 2011, it intends to construct a soundstage as well as a separate office. The organization is staffed by experienced groups of musicians like Mrs. Six Eyes, filmmakers, visual artists, and direct service professionals. RHD is unique in that the individual staff members make their ever-evolving abilities available to the clients. These are real artists with real skills. The reciprocal nature of RHD aims to reveal previously hidden or unexplored talents amongst both the staff and clients. RHD's clients publicly present their work in addition to the openings and showings at the RHD Art Studios, artists have consistently shown in outside galleries and bands have become regionally popular. It is important that the public know that by providing a meaningful day-to-day -day life for artistic people, RHD also provides hope. High hope. Bill McDonald is a visual artist and musician. He has been affiliated with RHD for about four or five years. A lifelong fan of comic books, Bill focused his idiosyncratic style of illustration while at RHD. Alright, I really like peace and quiet kind of idea. I don't like loud noises, chaos, commotion, racket. He sent me an email about that. Mm. It was talking about how even though you like heavy metal and rock music, that chaos is just sort of like mental clutter because it's no good. Mm, yeah. The people are in the whole world. When you're making art, are you able to feel serene and calm? Yeah, I guess so. As long as no one is shouting. Yeah, I don't like people yell or shout or scream. His unique perspective has led to his showing work in art galleries across the nation, such as the Intuit Show, a folk and outsider art in Chicago, to the outsider art for in New York City, I'm sorry, and the New American Show in New Haven, Connecticut. David Cicerone has been RHD client for about four or five years. Over this time, David has developed and refined his painting and drawing abilities. I love you, you. Cause me not music, music, music.
It's it's a drawing of some dead people and some happy people and some mad people, angry people and sad people. In addition, he participates in RHD's very popular video projects. Check 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 out the ingredients. Moti? No. Flour? Tobacco? Um. Uh, uh, high in oils. Paper basket. Yep. Vinegar. Yep. 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 That's good. That's good. You make sure high in sodium. Strawberries. Yep. Yep. Apples and bananas. Yep. Um. Uh, all right. That. That's it. Right. A real success story. David has maintained a serious interest in his artwork. Amy Ethier has used writing, music, and video productions to channel her verbose sense of humor. What are we doing today, Amy? We're doing a documentary, Andy. Okay. About your but where are we? The lover of words, Amy demonstrated a real talent across a wide variety of forms. Um, can you do that second sentence in addition? In addition to the openings and showings at the Amish the Art Studios, artists have consistently shown in outside galleries and bands have become regionally popular. Next, incoming hoorah! The organization is staffed by experienced groups of musicians like Mrs. Six Eyes. Her band Mrs. Six Eyes, of which she is the lead singer and lyricist, routinely plays gigs around Providence. She has written several short books of poetry and short prose. On the count of three. One, two, two, three. One son was a vampire named Vladimir who lived in Transylvania. He impaled everyone by sucking blood from their wrists. He comes out at night to do his victim hunting. He turns into a bat and looks for people to suck. He also stays up to do that. Like a bat from hell, the people die in our wrists. Do you want me to do the whole paragraph? Do the whole paragraph. Okay. Bill and Amy. Nope. Are... Uh, Bill, Dave, and Amy. Let's try that oh, again. Bill, Dave, and Amy. Right, are... Take a breath and try again. Bill, Dave, and Amy are clients at RHDRI, an organization that helps the, dif the disabled find outlets for creative expression. It is important the public know that by providing a meaningful day-to-day -day life for artistic people, RHD provides hope. High hope.